In 2003, government regraded its workforce structure, of which the office of the Prime Minister was the custodian. This led to unhappiness among public servants who have since attempted at having their concerns heard and paid attention to. A regrading committee was also in the meantime established after the concerned workers expressed dissatisfaction in the representation by the Namibia Public Workers Union. The committee now takes the lead in this fight. Policy analysts at OPM, they are high paid than other policy analysts with the same qualifications, with the same experience. And then we have our switchboard operators. Switchboard operators were under the telecom. When they were took over from the government, by that time the salary was between 5,000 and 6,000. When they came to the government, the salary was 1,500. Very less. And, you know, and the cleaners. The cleaners of 30 years are getting 2,800. A cleaner of between three to five years is 2,600, just a difference of $100. So far, according to Black, two letters forwarded to the office of the Prime Minister requesting for a platform to raise their concerns were declined. The next step, as decided by the concerned group, was to approach the Labour Ministry. The Labour Ministry guided them with advice and referred them to the Labour Commissioner who directed them to follow the correct procedure. The group also brought a legal representative on board. They got away with our GIPF money. Now again, with our salary. No more. No more. No more. Mm. And really I want to appeal to the government. Why is it when you want to come to your government, your government, elected government, to talk we were not supposed to have media. We wanted to talk nicely with the government OPM. They, they refused. What other steps should we have to do? Must we go to public to be heard? Is it the only way to be heard from the government? Then we follow that route. So far, 1,600 concerned public workers have contributed in covering the legal fees of the group's legal representative.